Hey everybody, it's Cindy here and today we're going to talk about dealing with our feelings in a healthy manner. And to get us rolling in this, I want you to adopt two beliefs. And one is, is that humans are made to have feelings. It's natural. It's part of our nature to have feelings about things. And so let that be a comfort to you that you were created in a way that you could have a wide variety of emotions and responses to things and that that is actually normal and natural for you. And the other one is that feelings are not right or wrong. They just are. Your feelings, they just are. So I don't want you to judge yourself <clears throat> or anyone else for whatever they're feeling, okay? Uh, because they they are not wrong that you can't you can't do feelings right or wrong in terms of just what your emotional response is to something okay we're going to talk about healthy ways and unhealthy ways of dealing with our feelings but in terms of what you're actually feeling I don't want you to judge yourself and go oh, I shouldn't be feeling this way I shouldn't be feeling this way you know because that that doesn't serve you it's more of, of developing an understanding of how, how it is that you've come to these feelings, okay? So let's talk about three steps um, in dealing with your feelings in a healthy manner, okay? Number one is acknowledge that you're having a feeling, or several. Acknowledge it, go, oh, there they are, or there it is. Give it attention and go, oh, hey, hello, there it is. I'm sad, I'm mad, I'm glad, I'm confused. I'm frustrated, I'm happy, I'm peaceful, I'm uh, perplexed, I'm stressed out, whatever it is. And then as you're acknowledging it, identify it, like give it a label, okay? There's a, there's a reason for this. I want you to label your feelings. I really want you to get a language for what's happening for you in your emotive life, okay? We need an, a language with it. Um, because, you know, it's like when you have, if you have a little, um, um, abrasion on your arm and you don't know why it's there, but once a doctor says, oh, this is a, whatever it is, you know, and gives it a label and then tells you how to manage it, then you go, oh, okay. It, you feel more in control of it, right? You feel more empowered by that, that you know what it is and what to do about it. And so I want you to do this with your feelings because often what happens is people get overwhelmed with their feelings. They're swimming around in a whole bunch of emotions that, and they're, they're lost in it, but yet it's taking over their lives. And so I want you to learn to label your feelings, acknowledge them and identify them, give them a label, the best one that fits for you. And then develop number, step two is to understand where it's coming from. Okay, understanding where it's coming from. Uh, so maybe like, okay, for me yesterday, I felt sad because my son went off to college. That was pretty easy, right? I, that was, that's pretty easy to identify. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of sad because I'm going to miss him. But I'm happy too because I'm proud of him. And it's because my son's going off to college. I knew what was going on with me. This is not, not... A, a deep science, right? But sometimes we have feelings and we really don't know like what our deal is, right? It's like, ooh, I'm like moody today. So I want to understand it. So let's say you're kind of on edge. You're a little, you're a little, little uptight and you're kind of snippy at everybody. But you're, and so you've labeled it. Okay, I'm uptight today. I feel I feel edgy, I feel uptight, I feel irritated, I'm moody. And then I want you to understand it. And so then you're looking in your life, like what is going on that you are irritated? Did you not get enough sleep? Are you experiencing some physical pain that's causing you to be emotionally irritable? Um, did somebody tick you off? Did you hear something that upset you? Now, if you're going, nope, 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 uh, you might want to check your hormones. It could be that. Sorry, but it could. That's another uh, source of emotions that we sometimes experience. I know, especially in the time period of adolescence and then midlife like this. 
is a very common time for us to have a wide range of emotions that we really can't tag on anything else but perhaps biological or hormonal changes that we're experiencing. So, you know, just keep that in mind, but develop some understanding, attach it to something. So it, again, this gives you more mastery over it. Um, and I want you to really learn to understand yourself emotionally. Okay, next thing is number three, express them. Express them. Now, how do we do this in a healthy manner? Well, there's lots and lots of ways, but I'm going to share a few main ones. Number one would be to talk out your feelings. And if what you're feeling is specifically tied to a specific relationship, then I'd, ideally I'd like you to hear you you know, talking to that specific person about your feelings when you're both in a pretty good uh, um, frame of mind, when you're in, you have some time, you can really deal with it. You can, um, you're both uh, light, hopefully well rested and in a position you can have that conversation. But you want to go directly to a person if, if you can, and it's appropriate. Um, and talk it out. Now, if you can't do that, um, if they're deceased and you're having feelings about them, you can talk to them anyway. Talk to them or go to their grave if that makes you feel better if they have a grave. Um, or, but you can just have a conversation with them just anywhere if you want. And sometimes that can feel like expression enough and that kind of thing. If it's not tied to a specific person, um, but you want to talk it out, you want to vent it out, then pick a trusted person and, and do it. You know, call your best friend, uh, connect with your pastor, go to your therapist, check, you know, check in with your family, somebody you trust in your family and, and just, just talk it out. It's okay. Feelings are meant to be expressed. Okay. So that's one way. Talk it out. Number two, you could write it out. If you're a journaler or you like poetry or you, um, you know, you have a diary of sorts, or maybe you write song lyrics, um, you know, or, or, or creating sh short stories and find that kind of um, channeling your emotions into things like that. Feel free to write it out. Number three is create with them in other ways. For example, some, you know, painters sometimes paint out their feelings. They draw out their feelings or their artwork is very much uh, from an emotive place in their lives. Uh, maybe you're a knitter and you like to make scarves or, or uh, you know, mittens or sweaters or something and you can sit and, and knit and kind of work through your feelings while you're doing that. Or maybe you're someone who likes to build things. Um, Anyway, some kind of creative expression or channel that's natural for you, doodling on a notepad even, um, you know, anything, anything creative, channeling our feelings in creativity is a really beautiful way to express them. Um, or uh, some people release their feelings really well physically. They jog it out, they run it out, they lift weights, they go to yoga, they dance it out, they sing it out. Uh, you know, anything like that, get on your bike and ride it out. Physically releasing your feelings is, is really a wonderful, uh, another wonderful way to, to let those feelings out. Or perhaps you have a spiritual practice that helps you express your feelings in a healthy way. You may breathe, do some breathing exercises, some meditation, uh, or prayer, or any kind of spiritual ritual that means a lot to you, that helps you release your emotions and express them in a healthy way, absolutely fabulous. Any and all of those ways are wonderful, and you can think of even more that are specific for you. The bottom line is, is that feelings need to be expressed, and it's best if you can do it in a healthy way. And you might be asking yourself, well, how do I know if I'm doing it in an unhealthy way? Well, there's two two biggies that are for sure that you're off track. Okay, and we need to find another way to navigate through the feelings. And these are one, you're either abusing yourself or somebody else, you know, reacting to your feelings. You're hitting your child. You're um, cutting on yourself. 
um, you're, you know, yelling and screaming and name calling and, um, whatever you're, you're throwing stuff. You're, um, you know, you know what abusive behavior is and that toward yourself or other people. And then the other one is avoiding the feelings, denying the feelings, uh, and that kind of thing. And one big sign that you are denying and avoiding your feelings is you're addicted to something and you turn to your addiction every time the going gets rough, right? So, or maybe every day at five o'clock you get off work and you think you have to drink for a couple hours because you finally survived the work day and that's how you unwind or, or <laughs> uh, move past your work day. That is a sign that you might be using a substance to numb yourself instead of dealing with the stresses that you're experiencing at work, for example. So addiction, you know, gambling in, in excess, uh, drinking in excess, all this is in excess, um, drugs, food, emotionally overeating or overeating, uh, ben uh, binging, purging, um, emotionally eating at all is, is another way of handling emotions in an unhealthy way. Uh, you know, shopping beyond, well beyond your means on a regular basis. Um, there's many, many, many addictions out there. Drugs, alcohol, food, money, uh, gambling, shopping, um, and many, many more. So if you're in, you're reaching for that kind of behavior instead of dealing directly with your emotions in a healthy manner, that's a red flag and you need some help. So anyway, bottom line is, hey, we're meant to have them, whether we like them or not, and we have a choice in how we deal with them. And I, I hope you will find some very healthy ways to deal with your feelings because the sooner you deal with them and the more healthy of ways you deal with them, the, the less they will have power over the rest of your life. And you can just move on and feel calmer and happier every day. Okay, hope this helps. Take care. Bye-bye.